Nowadays, smartphone cameras are getting better and better, and we do click more photos with our smartphone than we take with a DSLR or let's say a proprietary camera. But at times, we just don't like the stock look of your photo that our phone took for us. Now here's when a software or an editing software like Lightroom comes into play. So this is a quick and easy tutorial for making your photos look stunning in Lightroom Mobile. Hey what's up guys, Bushan here from our boy Expert. With that being said, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is just click on all photos, then click on this plus icon in order to import your photo. Now this is the photo which I am going to edit. And by the way, I took this photo from my Redmi Note 4 which doesn't shoot in RAW. So all the photo or all the editing you see right now is being done with the help of non-RAW editing or you can say the non-premium subscription of Adobe Creative Cloud. So the very first thing in this photo, as you can see, the photo looks extremely good, but, 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 what? there's a but, but you gotta do some tweaks. The first one is of course, increasing the shadows and decreasing the highlights. And by the way, in case you don't know what is head shadows and highlights, basically in simple words, shadows is the brighter part of the image and highlights is the darker part of the image. And as you can see, the buildings and the whole things are started to show up which looks super good. And just decrease the highlights because if you increase it, the photo won't look good, absolutely yes. Now just increase the contrast, just in case if you like the contrasted look. And I will just leave the whites and blacks wherever it is. Now we can also change the white balance for this uh, particular photo. I will try to make it a bit cool because, yeah, because as you can see the clouds and whole things are in a blue color. So I will add a, a bit of tone or a bit of uh, less form to the image. Now once done, you can also click here on this lens correction, which will probably help you out in some ways or the other, I don't know how, but yeah, they should help you out in any way. Now just click here on mix, which will take you to, to the HSL tab, which is super good. So now in order to do some crazy things with the Lightroom Mobile, I would suggest you to master the HSL tab in this Lightroom Mobile or the Lightroom PC. So basically what HSL is, it is just a tweaker for all the particular colors which are available in this photo or which are available in a particular image. Now in this image, as you can see, there is a lot of whites, there is a lot of red, there is a lot of yellow and there is a lot of blues. So first of all, let me just decrease or let me just change the tint of the white or I mean the gray, I mean the red color. And as you can see, if I increase the, increase the saturation, there is a massive amount of difference. And yeah, as you can see, there is a difference. I will just tweak this HSL tab and I will catch you guys once I'm done with it. And once you are done with the tweaking of this HSL tab, you can also do black and white. But uh, we all know that I don't want to do this black and white color scheme, uh, color theme in this photo. So we'll just leave there where there it is. And you can also apply custom presets to your photos, as you can see, high contrast, natural, and whatnot. But I would not suggest you to use these presets because uh, they really, really, really don't look that good in Lightroom Mobile. But in case you just want to use the presets, you can better go off with Visco Cam, or you can also use some things like pixart if you just want to use the preset but that's pretty much it i know this is a pretty short tutorial but yeah i mean that's pretty much it so here is a quick before and here is a freaking after and as you can see we have came a lot ahead in terms of editing via mobile phone and yeah i mean as you can see the photos and the whole thing is looking really really good especially eye popping and by the way this is the photo which i posted on instagram so if you are not following me on instagram do consider giving me a follow right over there my instagram id and my every other social media id is linked in the description down below so definitely have a look and by the way do you actually like this editing tutorial kind of genre because it is not my it is not my niche because i'm just trying it for the first time mobile editing of course and if you just want me to make more editing videos or more editing tutorials or some kind of tutorials thing just let me know in the comments down below because i really love your opinions but that being said i'm a boy expert and i'm signing up